I believe that if you have been looking at my videos, you are going to see that I teach about certain things or I have been teaching about certain things. So you should see a trend here. I have been speaking about helping people, serving people, giving to people, so on and so on. You are going to see that in much of the Bible, which many people choose not to really speak about, the Bible tells us to help people. I know that you may go to a church and they may say that God is going to bless you, God is going to bless you, but that person is not really speaking about blessing other people, which the Bible tells us to. So this selfish gospel has been going on and many people are only thinking about themselves. Selfishness and greed, my Lord, you can see why this world is so messed up because of greed. If each person cared about the next person, this world would be a way better place by far. I believe this, if everyone loved everyone, much more supernatural things would happen on this earth by far. Let's go to Luke chapter 16, 19 through perhaps 23, yes. If you want to, you can go all the way to 31, which is the full story, I believe. So we are going to find out where greed is going to take you, not to a very good place. <laughs> okay, 19. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. So what does that word mean, sumptuously? Let's look it up. Okay. Splendid and expensive looking. So this person is rich, obviously. Okay. So this person has enough to give. Okay. 20. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus. So what does beggar mean? Beggar. A person, typically a homeless one, who lives by asking for money or food. So a poor person, pretty much. named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores. Okay, so Lazarus was pretty much looking for this rich man to give him something, 21, and desiring to be fed, okay, with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. So Lazarus, was only looking for crumbs. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. So, Lazarus is really, really poor and perhaps sick too. 22. And it came to pass that the beggar died 
and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. Should I speak about this? <laughs> maybe in another video, maybe. The rich man also died and was buried. Okay, 23. So the beggar went to Abraham's bosom and the rich man, here we go, 23. And in hell, so the rich man went to hell. And in hell, he lift up his eyes, being in torments, and see if Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. So my point in this, this rich man was a greedy person. Obviously, in verse 19, I believe, this guy is rich. This guy had enough food, resources to help Lazarus, but he chose not to. So he went to hell afterward. So this goes with what I speak about so much. We are in this life as a test. If God wanted to, he could give us everything that, that we need and want in life, but he wants to test us. Why? It is his choice. He can do whatever he likes. If you can't overthrow God, if you can't fight God, if you can't beat up God, if you can't take his power, hey, <laughs> you have to do as he says or be prepared to be cursed, be prepared to be punished. So let me stop here. I pray that this makes sense. Greed is going to lead you to hell, and you don't have to be rich to be greedy. If someone is in true need, and you have enough to help that person, and you choose not to, you are greedy. I am not saying that you have to give people all you have. But if there is a person that comes to you, hey, I have not eaten in a week, and you turn your head, that is evil. That is evil. And you are going to pay for that too. It would mess with my conscience if a person came to me and told me that they haven't eaten anything for a week and I turned my head. I would continue to think about that. I would not be really able to rest. But if you can turn your head and see people picking out the trash and not come over there and help that person out, something is wrong. Something is wrong. I am not saying that you have to be their friend. I am not saying that you have to bring them in your home. I am not saying that, but something is wrong with you if you can see a person picking out the trash or come to you and tell you that they have not eaten in a long time and you can still walk away, something is off. So let me stop here. God bless you.